Breaking. Release my husband, wife of drug dealer, Abba Kiari slumps in court. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite channel slash television this very wonderful moment. Today's date is 14th of March, 2022. And the news we have on our news desk, which I'm going to show you the video right about now, has it that the wife of the internet fraud star and drug cartel, DCP, Abba Kiari, has slumped in court. And the way it is right now, we don't know if she is dead or she's still alive. The news has it that today, being 14th day of March 2022, is another day that was scheduled to hear the bell application of the internet foster and drug dealer, Abba Kiare. And right in the court, the wife slums while praying the judge to free her husband. Now, without wasting much of your time, I want us to read it uh, from the zoo newspaper, the way, the way it's being reported, though I'm going to play you the video because, of course, I've gotten the video from one of the zoo news uh, outlets. So let us read the news the way it is written from the zoo new, uh, newspaper. Breaking panic as Abba Kiari's wife slumps in court. Abuja, a lady identified as wife of the suspended deputy commissioner of commissioner of police, DCP Abba Kiari, on Monday, fainted at the federal high court in Abuja. She slumped, she slumped on the ground shortly after trial justice Emeka Mwite. Uh, uh, the fair ruling on applications that DCP, Kiari, and six other, other persons facing drug trafficking charge with him filed to be released on bail pending the, the, the determination of the case against them. <laughs> the middle-aged woman who wore a black hijab fell on the floor while armed operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency and the LEA were leading Abba Kiari and others away from the court premises. Away from the court premises. Though she appeared lifeless, she appeared lifeless on the floor. Did you get that? She was, I want you to get here, she appeared lifeless on the floor. She was quickly carried out, carried up and rushed inside one of the offices on the third floor of the court of the court by some officials of the NDLEA and lawyers. <laughs> you have not seen anything, Abakiari. The land of the Af our God, the God of our ancestors, the blood of the innocent youth you destroyed in Biafra land will haunt you and your family. In fact, your entire generation will pay for the blood of innocent people you destroyed in our land. Abba Kiari, your generation to come will keep on paying for the blood of the innocent people you destroyed in our land, especially in Imo State. Okanwari Fifuro, Eka Furoife, Go and interpret what I said to him. This is just the beginning. As at the time of filing this report, 11, 7 a.m., that is seven minutes past 11 a.m., efforts, efforts were on to secure, to secure an inhaler for her, even as one of the women that accompanied her to the court hinted that she was asthmatic. Okay. Okay, oh, Ashmatiki, you are coming to court without even in Hela. That is how the uni intelligence response team IRT would escape from the country and make himself unavailable for trial should he be released from custody. Obasaram, Obasaham now, 
Iman Abbasaran, the only thing we are waiting for is for him to be tried in the USA and be imprisoned for life. That is the only thing that we care for, not even uh, the so-called, uh, uh, you know, zoo trial. We don't hope with the zoo trial, especially when they are using, uh, you know, Igbo man for, as a judge. <laughs> imagine. Igbo man is the judge of this so-called trial. Can you imagine that? Igbo man as the trial judge. That is nonsense. Of course, you know that the Igbo man stands on two things. Two things will, must be involved. Is either he takes bribe to free the idiot, or they will cajole him, they will threaten him. The Fulani government will threaten him to release him. These are only two, two ways. Either he takes bribe to release the idiot, or Fulani government will threaten him to release him. So I don't believe in the judge. I don't trust the judge. I can never trust the judge. Because, of course, I know, why should they appoint Igbo man? Why should they appoint Igbo man to try Abakir? Why wouldn't they appoint at least a Yoruba man, a Fik man, or even Hausa man? Why wouldn't they appoint Hausa man, Hausa judge, to try the, the, the criminal? Why should they appoint Igbo man? Because it will be very easier for them, it will be easier for them to use the Igbo man, either they will they will cajole him, they will threaten him, maybe with his past, with his past uh, atrocities, bribe, 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 bribery and corruption. As the judge, I'm talking about the judge. I'm not talking about Igbo race. Don't get me wrong, please. I'm an Igbo man. I'm an Igbo man, so I'm not talking about Igbo race. I'm talking about the judge. Either they will cajole him and threaten prison based on his past atrocities or uh, fraud or bribery and corruption because of course they will have his his uh, 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 record they will threaten him with that or if he's innocent if he has never committed any a, a crime before maybe bribery and corruption in the past they will threaten him with uh, 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 you know to kill they will threaten to kill him this is full and you are dealing with full and the government they will threaten to kill him if he doesn't release Abakiari, Fulani government will threaten him. Or if those ones cannot play any role here, they will bribe him. That is how it works. So <laughs> I can tell, I don't even believe in Abakiari. I don't even believe that he, he is in the custody of the so called uh, NDLEA. And if, if they imprison him finally in the zoo, I won't believe he's in the in, in, in Kuja prison. I won't believe that unless they will allow us, the media, to be checking on him every week, every week to make sure that he remains there and finish his sentence and then extradited to United States of America. He can never escape it. The gods of our land has risen up against the monkey. He can never escape it. Now, let me play you the video. This is the video. The woman was rushed immediately to the uh, hospital, uh, not hospital, sorry, to the uh, uh, to another office in the in the in the court premises. Are you getting it? This is it. This is how they carried her. So um, she slumped. According to the news, they say she appears lifeless. They say she appears lifeless. You can see it with your own eyes. They say she appears lifeless. And uh, let me tell you, if you hear any news this evening or tomorrow that they lost her, don't panic. If you hear any news to this evening or tomorrow morning that they lost her, that Abba Kiari, the internet froster and the... Uh, drug dealer abakiari dcp abakiari has lost his wife do not panic don't even think of it just go and celebrate because abakiari and his family cannot escape death not just normal death not just uh, you know normal death untimely death abakiari and his family both his wife his children and his uh, 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 grandchildren to come will never escape the untimely death. They cannot escape it. Abakiari is a murderer. He killed youth. Youth. Do you know the meaning of youth? 
O mark or Barafakana and Woko Abakiari murdered 888 people in Imo State. Do you think it's a joke? With the help of Hope uh, Uzadema, uh, with the help of Hope Uzadema, Abakiari killed 888 people, youth in Imo State, with the help of this idiot on the screen. And you think they will escape it? I'm sorry, they can never escape it. So I am praying that this collapse, she will never make it alive. Because Abakiari will be paid by his own coin. This is what he did to other people. And of course, of course, it's coming, it's returning back to him. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go viral.